Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we're going to have a look at the Holy Stone HS 200D. So this is a altitude hold drone with a 720p camera that does take an SD card. All the typical stuff, 6 axis gyro, it's got headless board, it does 360 flips, it's got some LEDs underneath it and it runs on a 3.7 volt battery. So this is what you get in the box. Let's just take it out of the box to get the drone itself, you get the controller, you get your phone holder, get a spare set of propellers, and some screws, a charging cable, some spare landing gear, prop guards, and in the box you get a quick start guide and a manual, actually very good manual, and you get by now the common Holy Stone flight log book. They're really good these things for making notes. I've never used them in the flight log but handy little books to have. So put this down here. So this is a drone, it's extremely light as you can well imagine. It's got four brush motors, um, gear driven, not direct drive. Here's your camera with your antenna there for the camera and in the back of here you can see it has an SD card slot which is unusual on a cheap drone like this well cheapish drone should I say we'll talk about that later so they're the landing gear they just pop in you do get a spare set of these they are quite flimsy but it doesn't weigh anything so the chances of be damaging them are quite slim I'd imagine so this is the battery and it's 1000 milliamp hours it's good for about eight minutes and it simply clicks in there and you could use another 1S battery because it's a JST connector inside so you could just use a normal battery with a JST if you wanted to do underneath here you have the charging port which is quite strange so the way, the way it charges is connect the drone directly to a USB so there is no charging facility on the battery itself and when it's on charge this little LED will glow red and then it will go out when it's charged charges in about 45-50 minutes and that also is your power switch this is your transmitter so this is the phone holder which clips in there and then if you remove this screw from here the screw goes through there I'm not putting it on because it's a bit fiddly actually to get into and then you can adjust the angle by this at the back it actually holds your phone nice enough it's not the best phone holder in the world, it's certainly not, I've seen far worse. And this is your controller. So your controller's uh, mode 2, and then you have a camera and video button on this side. So short press takes a photo. I'll have some photos coming up. I'll have some photos actually, I'll put them down below now. So you can see what the photos look like from the camera. Long press is the video, I'll have the video at the end of the this review. And then obviously on this side you've got 360 flips you've got adjust speed up and down here and then you have an engine start and landing button and a resync to put this back together if you want to bind it back in that's your controller it's simple it's quite small it actually feels quite nice to fly with i quite like the controller it's toy grade budget but it doesn't do bad so let's just turn the drone on we'll pop the drone on one thing i like about this controller there you go it'll flash until it gets bound so on this side you'll see the two the green lights they're flashing on your screen because that's my camera frame rate it's frame rate from the camera that's the only thing it doesn't flash when you see it in real life and then up with your speed modes and down so, so you got one two so your speed modes and on here you have your take off and land button and this one is your resync and then this one is take a picture you'll see the camera button flash there if you can and if I hold it in so that means it's videoing it does unfortunately beep all the time and then I think the headless mode I can't remember where the headless mode is I think the headless mode maybe do you hold this button in I honestly can't remember, I'll look at the instructions later and I'll put something in the box at the end but it has got headless mode, I never use it, I do not like headless mode, I don't see the point in it 
if you're going to learn to fly I don't think headless mode is a thing to deal with at all because you're just going to get well confused with it it does do flips, it flips very well as you'll see in the video the instruction manual it comes with is very comprehensive the one thing about Holy Stone that I have found is the instruction manuals are really really nice they're really good, they're really detailed, they're in plain English, you can read them very well you can't go wrong with one of these things at all and then here you have a quick start guide if you don't want really to bother with the manual if you just want to get straight into it the quick start guide is for the HS110D and the 200D I haven't actually reviewed that one so the HIT1100 so it runs on an app obviously so we'll just connect, up to the, connect it up to the app and I'll show you the app so it's already found it, Holystone FPV is the one you want and then we need to find the app and I can't remember what it's called so it's called HSS2 FPV you can see that on the screen there it's available on Android and obviously on the Play Store so this is what you'll get you've got learn, support, galleries this is what I teach photos if you've taken any and put them on here you've got some quick overview of how the drone works and then you've got the app so here's the app it's quite standard you've got the controls on the top so you've got photo, video and all these things on the top, headless mode and if you want to fly it with your phone, you can fly it in gyroscopic mode so you can control this with your phone and you can see the picture back is quite nice, it's got a bit of lag but I do like the fact that you get a good image back to the phone now the one thing I will say about this is, I was actually surprised at how good the photos looked and to be honest, the video isn't bad at all for what it is, I don't think the video is bad at all better than I thought it would. As this evening the video flew this, it was a bit windy for it to be honest, but it flew okay, just a bit windy. I wouldn't choose to fly this in the wind I flew in yesterday, it's definitely something to fly on a calm day because of how light it is and the power from these brushed motors. Obviously it's never going to be great. You've obviously got LEDs, doesn't it show that underneath? You've got LEDs white on the front and blue on the back. So I do like the app, it's basic but that's all you really want it for if you're doing because it's not it's not a GPS drone remember or anything like that, it's just a basic drone but it's a nice basic drone, I like it, I like the way it flies, so here's the thing, it's difficult for me to recommend this because of the price, so uh, I've done it, you've probably seen I did a video, I think it's already been up by now, of, I do a video on should you buy from China now if you don't buy from China this is what you buy in the UK this is what you can get and absolutely nothing wrong with this drone at all it's very nice it flies well it does its job it's nicely packaged and you get in because it comes from Amazon you're getting a guarantee of return you're going to get a no quibble guarantee so something goes wrong with it and stuff like that so you, but you but you're paying for all them extras and you're paying for the advantage of if you've got Prime you can have it next day but it's an expensive drone and you can get something very similar to this for quite a bit less money from China I don't think the camera is going to be quite good, it's one of the best cameras I've seen on something like this so that's what you need to take away from this I like the drone, I think it's a, uh, it's a for, me, for me it's a decent toy grade drone but it's expensive and you're paying for the privilege of buying it from the UK and if you're happy with that then I recommend this all day long but if you're happy buying from China then it'd be difficult for me to recommend which is why I'm struggling with it I can't say it's a bad drone, it isn't it's nice, I like it, it flies really really well I just struggle with the price of it but all Holy Stone tackle is expensive I reviewed the HS700 a while ago fantastic drone, similar to the Bug 3 but in my opinion Bug 3 Pro would in my opinion quite a bit better but it was so expensive and, and that's what you get with the Holy Stone products you pay for the privilege of owning them However, I do recommend this if you can buy it cheaper than the price that it is on Amazon. If you shop around, you probably will find it. They'll have it in the sales somewhere. It's been out quite a bit. It's not a new drone by any stretch of the imagination. If you can pick it up for 50 quid, I'd buy it. If it's 100 quid, then I wouldn't. It's as simple as that, really. So, I really like the drone. I'm going to leave you with the video footage that's coming up. You're going to see it flying in the wind. Bearing in mind it was windy. I only did a quick flight around the front of my house. And you're going to see the video quality from the camera. You've also, you've already seen the pictures that I've put up that were stills taken from it that I think were decent. So you make your own mind up, but it's one of them for me. I can't really advise anybody to go pay a hundred quid for this because I wouldn't. Even though it's a really nice little toy drone. Like I say, if you can buy it cheaper, 
when I did that button. If you can buy it cheaper and you can get it for like 50 quid, maybe 50, 60 even, yeah, I'd buy it. But I reviewed the SJRC S20W GPS drone, very similar size to this, for about 50 odd, 52, 53 quid. It's got GPS. So it's one of them. I, I'd probably go for that over this, but. Enough waffling, well, enjoy the video that's coming up, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up. 